Shut up, Navy. Shut up. Ah, I don't have that disadvantage. Stop talking about water. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Nathan Town. Tinker on back again for another Gothic 2. Let's play this game together. We're starting out in the sewer here today because I was reading up, and apparently, in order to get past that gate guard that we got to kill or whatever in the castle or whatever, blah, 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 we have to get lock picking. So, you know, we may as well get lock picking, and then hey, you. I'm going to do a crap ton of of pickpocketing off camera after this so yeah it's gonna be quite a while but at least it'll be worth it for all of the exp and hopefully we'll have enough strength or uh learning points after it's all said and done to get our strength up enough to use that damn berserker tax show me how to pick pockets if you want to empty somebody's pockets distract him just start talking to him while you're talking to him size him up look out for bulging pockets jewelry or leather straps around the neck and most of all Note how keen the fellow seems. Robbing a drunk day laborer is not the same as stealing from a watchful merchant. If you're too clumsy, of course, he'll smell a rat. So, above all, keep your cool. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do any of that, but blood chalices. About the blood chalices. I can only sell these chalices as a set. Bring me all six. Have we got all six? I guess not, okay. <laughs> What's our dex at? Ooh. 47, huh? 48, hey. 49, 50. Let's see if we can get up to 50. I want to be. Ugh. 48, 49, 50, 2, 4, 6. Ah, let's do it. 1, 2, 3. There we go. Now we should be at like 0, right? Yeah, we got a few more learning points left, and we got 50 decks, which is not enough to pick everybody's pockets, but hopefully enough to get a couple levels, so I'll see you in a while. Here we are in the bar, an hour later, and I haven't gotten that much more experience as I thought I would, but I don't know. I mean, at least from what I was reading, we got quite a few bit of experience we can go and get from the castle, but we'll see. Anyway, I ended up coming down here in Mario here, was offering him his services for our ship party. Uh, I also finished up a couple side quests and also ended up starting a couple side quests, but these were quests from the beginning of the game, so I didn't feel that they were important enough to include hey, on camera. You. Sorry if that, if everyone thinks otherwise. I can always use good people. I can always use good people. Sure thing. See you on the ship. Okay, cool. This guy had something to say too. I need to ever. I still need a few sailors. I still need a few sailors. Bad time, my friend. You won't find enough sailors in all of Corinus. Most of them have left the city. Okay. But with a good captain, it shouldn't be too hard to find yourself a few bright lads and make them into a decent crew before too long. Where can I find a captain? You're asking the wrong guy. I just run this tavern. Go talk to old Jack. He's been hanging around this harbor for as long as I can think. And when it comes to seafaring, he's your man. No, he isn't. I'm already going for the other dude. Thank you very much, though. But anyway, what's hey. this guy say? Hey! Hey, you! Show Thief Silk no. So you did it. Now you know who my employers are. Okay. Stick to what Cassia tells you. We don't care who you are otherwise. You're one of us, and that's all that counts. All right, cool. Ooh, there's one more thing I wanted to do before we actually get out of this dump. Because it doesn't seem to be that much worth it to actually pickpocket everybody. And I would end up being here all freaking day doing it all off camera. And I, I just don't really have the time. And I don't see that there's much of a point. Because so long as, like, it's one of those games, Gothic is one of those games where it's like, so long as we can beat the last boss, then it doesn't matter about the extra points, you know? Now, anyway, this guy kicked my ass hey, how many he's times? Still here. Didn't I tell you to piss oh, off? Oh, yeah? Now, I'll show you who's boss around here. Will you? Look at us. We're a Dragon King warrior. Yes, one shot. Get out of here. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> I thought we would just knock him out, but okay. Let's see what we were finally... Oh. That's what we were trying to get this whole time, was a bunch of potions. We were probably supposed to fight him way early on, but still, man. That's, that's it? 
Oh, the tra oh, parcel of weed. That's the one that that dude wanted in the mercenary camp. Okay. That's what that guy wanted. Aha. Well, ugh. Ugh. the only other thing that we got to do left in town, first of all, is go to an inn and make it daytime because, jeez Louise, get out of here, darkness. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, didn't really get that much items that were really worth it. I don't like that it's still playing battle music. I hope the guards aren't actually after us. Because that would kind of suck. Are they after us? Hello? Are you evil? Are you aggro? Are you after me? Nope. Okay, good. So we don't need to worry about any of that stuff. We get, gotta go turn in the quest here. I ended up stealing a book of debts from Lamar and getting a special book from the map dude down at the harbor there. Hello, Hannah. Look what book I have here. Look what book I have here. Lamar's ledger. How did you get hold of that? Well... If Lamar doesn't have it anymore, that's a good thing. But I'd rather have it myself. Sure. Here, take it. <laughs> Here, take the book. Thanks. Take this as a reward. What is what? this you've given me? It is a key to the gate of wealth. I don't know what that means, but okay. Did you mean this document? Did you mean this document? Yes, that's exactly it. Thank you. No problem. What's my reward? Not so fast. Here's your money. I don't know what that means, not so fast, but okay. Anyway, let's go to sleep upstairs, even though she tries to charge us for the end, but there is absolutely no point, because we're not talking about a lame game like Skyrim, where it's like, hey, this bed is owned. I can't sleep in a bed that's owned. Hey, <laughs> okay, let's do this now. We gotta go, first of all, we gotta go to the landlord. Algebraic. Oy vey. And then let's give this guy his package. And then I'm gonna go to the castle in the Valley of Mines so that we can let those orcs in, get this guy as a captain. Uh, there's also supposed to be a couple other characters that I want to grab. Ooh, I was supposed to talk to Vastris before we left. Because when I ended up walking up to him, it turned out there was quite a few things that we could have actually finished with him. Probably some quests. Hey, Dar, I got your stuff. Did there seem to be some mercenaries. Do you have anything? But no, wait. They're soon. Sure, that's true. Silvio is miles away and he took half the crew with him. Yes. Who cares? I've got a better chance of becoming someone with Lee's boys. All I need's a chance. If I could bring proof that I'm a real tough guy, maybe I could even become one of Lee's bodyguards. Okay. I, tough guy? You? <laughs> what would that. Uh, that doesn't. Uh. Tough guy? You? Aw, oh, come on, shut up. <laughs> Who are you, anyway? You've only been here a couple of days, and you're spouting off already. Excuse Just me? you wait. I'll find a way to make an impression on Lee. All right, uh, what would that look like? What would that look like? I don't know exactly. Some kind of orc trophy wouldn't be bad. Some kind of insignia from the orc leaders or something. A banner, an armband, or a ring. Something like that. I don't... Can't make any kind of an impression here with much less. That much is obvious. I don't know what he means, but okay. I guess we could go and get it from fighting some orcs or some crap. I don't know. Who was the dude that was pissed off then? Because it wasn't him. Oh no, I hope it wasn't Wolf. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, oh, whatever. You know what? Okay. Before we end up going to the other area, let's see. Zardus' tower. Because I want to go... Oy vey. I want to go and grab Lester here because he's one of our crew members. Hello? I found out where the enemy is hiding. I found out where the enemy is hiding. Don't ask me why, but I feel like I should go with you. Yes. What do you mean by that? I can't explain it. But I know that I'll only learn the answer if I come along with you. Sounds good to me. Then come with me and get your answers. Then come with me and get your answers. I'll meet you at the harbor. I'll go down there once I'm ready. Hurry up. Our time is short. Excuse me? You just asked to come with me, not the other way around. Now, where is it? Eh, uh, Harbor City. Let's go to the Harbor City. Uh, ay, 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 ay. I'm trying to push things now in the long stretch today. 
Uh, because as far as recording goes right now, like, I want to try and get this done. I want to try and get this game done today because I know there is not that much left. So now that we're at the end game here, we are going to be pushing it really, like, extra hard. There's a lot of things that I'm not going to be including on camera while still including the important bits, of course. Like talking to Vatris up here. Hello. I know where the enemy is. I know where our enemy is located. Then let us waste no time and seek him out before he comes to us. You want to accompany me? I have thought long about this and have never been so sure of my business, my friend. Okay, cool. I consider it an honor. I consider it an honor to have you by my side. We'll meet you at the harbor. Don't take too much time. The enemy does not sleep, my friend. Okay. Listen, people. I am needed elsewhere. Shush. I do not know whether I shall return. If you want to know the ending, read up on the story in the scriptures. May Adonis be with you. Okay. You better stay here. The city needs you. Dragons will wreak no more havoc. The dragons will wreak no more havoc. I knew that you would return safe and sound. However, you have yet to take your greatest hurdle. I know. Then equip yourself well and come to me if you need help. Always carry the Eye of Innos with you, do you hear? Adonis bless you. Okay, and the Force be with you too. More. Let's see. I want to make a donation. Tell me about the gods. Can you heal me? I want to increase my magic. Nope. No thanks. I don't need any of that crap. Now, the last one. Ooh, wait. Before we end up going to the Valley of Mines, where is Monastery? That's an yes, please. Alakazam. I want to talk to Oife, this dude, to get him hey, with I us. I heard you spent a long time in the monastery cellars. What did you find out? I, oh, it would be risky to steal this guy's purse. Now, this is something that's awesome about this game is that it's all just based on stats. And it seems like it would be risky when it says that. That's a pocket we cannot pick. Anything under that, we have enough points for, and it's guaranteed 100% based on your skill, rather than some stupid percentage chance of it, you know? I think that's great. I know where the enemy is hiding. I know now where the enemy is hiding. It's a small island not far from here. This is our big chance. We have to set out at once and destroy evil forever. Yes. Have you talked to Diego about it? I think he would want to accompany you. Too what late. About Gorn? Talk to him. I heard that he has returned from the Valley of Mines. Too late. And don't forget Lester. If you don't drag him out of his valley, he'll rot there. I also Check. know my role in all this. I can increase your mana and be helpful in constructing runes once we face the enemy. When do we start? Well, let's start right now. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. We should meet at the harbor. Wait for me there. Good. I'll be there when you're ready. Cool. We're getting a crew. <laughs> Where shall I look for a captain? No, we already got a captain. Let's go talk to Pyrocar. See anything else that he's got to do. And then screw it. Let's just rush it. Let's just go for the damn Valley of Mines. No go and secret. steal that evil ass guard's key. I hope we have enough dexterity. Otherwise, we're probably going to have to beat him up. But whatever. Hey. I've been able to open the book. I've been able to open Zardis' book. What? How did you do that? It well nigh drove me to despair. Yep. You're stupid, that's right. Zardis told me the trick. Just dumb luck, I suppose. <laughs> Zardis told me. Zardis told me the trick. Ah, is that it? How interesting. I can only hope for you that Zardas' bad influence is not going to spoil you. <sighs> I am warning you. Do not fall for the tricks of that old devil. You might come to regret it. You know... He's done better than you have. And all you do is sit here in your chair just complaining. I know where to find the halls. I know where to find the halls of Erdorath. The temple is on an island. I found a nautical chart which shows the way. That is great. Then you will need a ship and a crew in order to face the enemy. Uh -huh. Remember, you need to be well prepared if you want to vanquish the master of Erdorath. Where can I find a crew? Your crew should consist of men you can trust. Uh -huh. Talk to your friends, and think about who could be useful to you once you are on the island. You are going to need a magician as well. But alas, I cannot spare a single man from the monastery. <laughs> yeah. You will have to ask a magician who is not working within the monastery. Oh, okay. 
What are the Tears of Enos? What are the Tears of Enos? The Tears of Enos are nothing but an old child's tale. It tells of how the battle between Enos and Belly are started at the beginning of time. Okay, I found this potion. I found this potion. That cannot be. I cannot believe it. What's the matter? If these are really the genuine tears of Enos, then... Hardly. Do not interrupt me. Huh. If these are the real tears of Enos, then we have a powerful weapon against the enemy. I... What do you mean by weapon? What do you mean by weapon? Legend has it that under the influence of this substance, the warriors of Enos were able to perform almost superhuman deeds. Oh. They were immune to all kinds of exhaustion and had the strength of two bears. That's right. The greatest heroic feats of the olden days were only made possible by the tears of Enos. I understand. But the tears can bring suffering and death as well. Only the members of our order may drink this draft. Anyone else, even the paladins of our lord, would face a cruel death. Nope. I'm fine. So what are the tears of Enos? So what are the tears of Enos? When Enos realized that he had to fight Beliar, his own brother, in order to preserve creation, his sorrow was great. He started to weep, and his tears fell down onto the world. There were many of them, for his heart was so full of grief that he wept for 13 years. Whoa. Get to the point. The people who found his tears and tasted them were filled with supernatural strength and clarity. They recognized the wisdom of Enos's creation and began to serve him. They were the first members of the community of the fire. The tears gave them strength, courage, and wisdom. But that is all very long ago, and it has been more than 250 years since anyone last set eyes on a tear of Enos. Except for me. Jorgen is an experienced sailor. I don't care about that, but okay. Jorgen is an experienced sailor. He could help me get to the Isle of Irdarath. That will not be so easy, I fear. He has signed on to work for the Brotherhood. He has neither paid the tribute nor brought us a sheep. Jorgen must finish his work first, then you can take him with you if you like. How long will it take? He used up the provisions which would have lasted a novice three weeks, and all on the first day. So I cannot let him go before he has worked hard in our gardens for three months. Okay, I don't want him anyway, that's, that's cool. Let's get out of here, finally, cause holy crap. Taking so much freaking time, you guys. Alakazam! Oy vey! Now let's continue onward, and actually, you know what? Because this spot right here is a little bit of a walk, I'm just gonna pause the recording so that we can- It's too far away. So that we can actually get into the Valley of Mines here. There we go. Now we don't know what's gonna happen when we go to this next area, so let's do it. Hello? <gasps> I think, yep, it's absolutely nothing, and it made us all fat and widescreeny. I don't know if that actually shows up in the recording, but hey, where's the castle? Harbor, tavern, castle. I hope we have enough mana. <laughs> yep, we do. Oy vey. Now, what did we need to do? Oh yeah, we needed to steal a key. There was also a bunch of other dudes we could steal from in here that apparently would equivalent up to like 13 or 3,000 experience, I think. Hello? Are you one of them? Don't no. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna actually stop the recording while I get things prepared here. Well, I found him. Bloop. He was just up here, and I ended up stealing a couple other things, but other than that, nothing really mentionable. Hey. Hello. Eh, ooh, child's play. Okay. Cool. Take it. Yes. Now, what do I. What would one have to do to open the main gate? What would one have to do to open the main gate? For heaven's sake. Why would you want to know that? Just curious, you know. Uh, I'm just worried about the safety of the castle, you know? Well, I'm worried about the safety of the castle. So am I, all the time, believe me. Huh. And since I am such a faithful guardian, Garand has finally entrusted the key to the gate room to me. That's a great responsibility. I shall guard it well. I had to swear that to Garand. Yes. Kay. Just imagine... Someone coming 
and simply pulling the lever to open the gate and that rusty old steel grating getting jammed. Nobody could close the gate then. I mustn't think about what would happen next. It's a good thing no one knows that I have the key. <laughs> yes, exactly. Whoops. Let me just go in here and oh my lucky stars. He doesn't even care that we're in here. Cool. Now, I've heard about people getting access violations when they actually open this switch because it's a glitch with the cutscene. So I'm just going to stop the recording and start right away. Yep. So I got the access error violation thingamabob too. So what I read online is we can just press escape to skip the cutscene. So that means that I'm going to have to edit the cutscene in afterwards. So as far as I'm concerned, I've already seen it online, but otherwise, let's go skip. Now we can just- Oh! I can hear the combat! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This is not good. <laughs> no! Bad orcs! Stay back! This is really- This really sucks. <laughs> I don't think we can take this many orcs on at one time, you know? You know what? Yeah. So this is gonna be really complex, so I'm actually going to do this battle off camera. Ding dong, the orcs are dead. Every single one of them is dead. Well, I don't know about everyone. I know for certain that it was you who opened the gate. Prove it. You'll pay for that. Oh, yeah? Look who's talking. Huh. Yeah. A fight. Windmill attacking. Get out of here. <laughs> you sure showed him. Whoa. I like how now. Oh. Ah! No, wait. Wait a minute! Rumor has it that you've been filching stuff around here. Yes, I have. You're not going to get away with that. Okay. You don't seem to grasp the seriousness of the situation. No, not you really. You should be made to pay a penalty to compensate for your crimes. Okay. How much? 100 gold pieces. <laughs> That's jump change, oh, buddy. Man. I want to pay the penalty. <laughs> All right. I'll tell the lads to calm down then. But don't let me catch you at this sort of crap ever again. Yeah, you got it, boss. Anyway, let's get out of this dump. These people are depressing. So, that one dude, e Edward, I think that's his name. He's like over in the building right there in front of us. Or is he? No, he's in this building right here. He was the shopkeeper that was all like, hey, I need like 30 pounds of meat or some crap. This guy. Right. Oh, well, his corpse seemed to have disappeared, but either way, when, he came, when I came here, he was dead, and he had so much items on him. It was ridiculous, man. Like, look at this. Look at our potions. We got all of these from him alone. Like, seriously. It was, it was wonderful. It was actually treasure for once. <laughs> now, let's... Uh, well, let's go to bed uh, so that we can actually get out of this dump. Hopefully, I don't know if we actually have enough time, but let's see if we can get the paladins to clear out of Corinus. Whoa, weird monster corpse noises. Abracadabra! Oy vey. Now I think... Do we go to chapter 6 as soon as we go back out of the valley and there's all the orcs and stuff out there? Or do we only go to chapter 6 once we've taken the boat to the last island? I don't know. Who cares? Let's see, because we're in the last long haul here till the end. And it doesn't seem to really matter what we've got, you know? Whew! That scared me, man. I thought it crashed. Alakazap! Bloop! I, seriously, I'm getting all paranoid now because that orc cutscene ended up crashing on me once. That I keep thinking everything else is gonna crash now. But it seems like that was the only one that I ended up reading up where it's like everyone kind of has that glitch. So yeah, I just gotta remember to edit that in afterwards. I hope I don't forget. 
But otherwise, you can find it on YouTube pretty easy. It's a very short cut scene. I, I will put it in. Don't worry. Don't don't worry about that none. But as far as I'm concerned right now, like it's like I haven't actually seen it. So yeah, I'll have to see it afterwards. But anyway, let's go tell Lord Hagen to get off his butt and get out of here, and then we can call it an episode. And who knows? Maybe we're already off in our ship in the next episode. Who knows, man? We could be right near the end. This is, just, this is just wonderful. I love it. I can't believe we're so close. Knight? Eh? Are you Lord? No? Hello? How is the situation on the mainland? How is the situation on the mainland? The war isn't won yet, although the royal troops are already driving back the orcs. But small bands of orcs are gathering in many places, trying to scatter our army. Huh? They fight without honor and without faith, and therefore we shall prevail in the end. I, okay. Where's Lord Garand? Is it, oh, is he right here? No? Albrecht? What is it? Uh, I, okay, you know what? Let's just go to Torloff then, uh, before we end up calling in an episode, and hopefully he'll just say, <laughs> Wait, hey, hopefully he's just going to say that, Oh, you did it for me, bruh. I'll I'll go do your thing that you want me to do, you know, or something like that. Would have thought of that. Something along those lines, right? Bilbo. Bobo? Bodo? Hello! I did it! What are the rules? The gate is open. The gate to the castle in the Valley of Mines is open and jammed. There's nothing to keep the orcs from storming the castle now. The paladins in the castle have suffered some heavy losses against the orcs. It won't be long now, I guess, before the paladins from the city advance to the Valley of Mines to get their boys out of the castle. That's pleasant news. So now there's nothing to prevent me from escaping from this accursed region. Yeah. Okay. Now will you help me get to the island? Now will you help me get to the island? Oh yeah, you wanted to go to an island. You hardly know who to believe hmm. these days. I'll make you a suggestion. No. You pay me 2,500 gold oh. points and I'll captain your ship. For that, I'll also teach you strength and dexterity wherever you want to go. I, okay, here, here. All right, here's your gold. Wonderful. Now you just have to tell me exactly what I'm supposed to do. Okay, what? Be my captain, you idiot. Be my captain. All right, get me a ship and a sufficiently strong crew, and I'll take you to your damned you island. Do you have what? an nautical chart? We won't get far without one of those things. I'll take care of all that. I'll see you at the harbor. I can't wait to see how you do that. Yeah, me too. I don't know what that means, unless he's just talking about the map we already have. Well, anyway, that's going to be it for today's episode, everybody. So hopefully in the next episode, we're going to be ship sailing the heck out of this dump and onto the last island. But who knows? I don't know how many more people I need for the crew, and I don't know what he meant by that map. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Sign on. Stay epic, everybody. Your face.